and welcome to this BreatheLink video tutorial, a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform a strength index test using the BreatheLink software. From the home page, navigate to the test screen by clicking on the test tab. The test screen is an interactive environment that captures live data to quickly assess your breathing muscles. There are two types of tests that you can perform. These can be selected via the Strength Index button or the Peak Inspiratory Flow button, later referred to as PIF. In this tutorial, we'd like to perform a Strength Index test. This will assess the maximum strength that your breathing muscles can generate. The calculation of Strength Index is based upon a typical inspiratory muscle force velocity relationship. In the centre of the screen is a graphical view of your test session. Data is sent from the PowerBreathe unit to the BreatheLink software at a rate of 4,000 times a second and plotted in real time. Graphical markers are also displayed to help you maximise your test effort. The red line represents your personal best score you have ever recorded. Your goal is to equal or better this value. Depending upon your preference, this can be switched on or off using the personal best switch. Please note, only when you have recorded a personal best score will you see the red line being displayed. The black line represents your session best score that you have achieved for the current session. This can be switched on or off via the session best switch at the bottom of the screen. The grey shaded band on the graph represents your predicted normal range. This is based upon predicted normal values of inspiratory muscle strength for an individual of your age, height, weight and gender. Please note the predicted normal value band may not be visible until you have completed a breath. Finally, you have the ability to overlay multiple plots on the graph. This can be switched on or off via the overlay switch at the bottom on the test screen. On top of the screen is your information window that provides a visual snapshot of your current training session. The small collection of bars provide visual clues as to how many breaths you have successfully completed in the current session. This is the breath counter which indicates how many breaths have been taken. In all test modes, whether it is Strength Index or PIF, the number of breaths that can be performed is 30. This indicates the load or the weight that you are lifting. In all test modes, whether it is PIF or Strength Index, the load is set at a default value of 3 centimetres of water. Therefore, you will find performing an inspiratory muscle test very easy. You'll notice the load adjusters are disabled when in test mode, but can be adjusted when in training mode. Next to the information window is the start and stop button. To begin a test session, click on the start button and you will notice two things. Firstly, the PowerBreathe unit will calibrate the valve by moving it backwards and forwards and ending at the fully closed position. This indicates the beginning of a test session. Secondly, the start button will also change state to a stop button. OK, so let's begin a test. Firstly, click on the start button. You may notice that the graph area will clear all previous data and reset the information window. Notice the sound of the power breathe unit calibrating the valve and the start button changing to a stop button. You are now ready to assess the strength of your breathing muscles. Breathe out as far as you can, then take a fast, forceful breath in through the mouthpiece. Take in as much air as you can, as quickly as you can, straightening your back and expanding your chest as you inhale. As you can see, the graph area comes alive with data being captured from your breath. Notice the graphical markers on the graph, giving you instant feedback. OK, we'll perform one more breath. Breathe out as far as you can, then take a fast, forceful breath in through the mouthpiece. 
Take in as much air as you can, as quickly as you can, straightening your back and expanding your chest as you inhale. Currently, you can see two linear plots on the graph. If you wish, you can show individual plots by switching the overlay option on or off. So, we've completed two breaths and we now wish to end the session. Click on the stop button. You will be asked to save the current session. Click yes. You will then be asked to provide feedback on how the session felt. The Power Breathe unit will move the valve to the fully open position and the stop button changes state to become a start button. Congratulations, you've successfully performed a strength index test. Ideally, you should test your breathing muscles every two weeks to assess the effectiveness of your training. Over time, if you have followed your Power Breathe training, you will see improvements in your breathing muscles, both visually using the BreatheLink software and physically. This concludes this video tutorial. For further information, please consult your BreatheLink manual. Alternatively, visit powerbreathe.com to learn more about the benefits of IMT training. Thank you.